Welcome back. All right, so career video time. Uh, Ryan Getzlaff having reached 1,000 points before he plays tonight and, and messes up the 1,000 points and gets another one and gets 1,001 on the season. Uh, I do think that Ryan Getzlaff this year has has been, had a fantastic turnaround that was unexpected. Uh, he was a 19th pick overall in 2003, one of the, if not the greatest draft in history. Uh, 1979 is often seen as the greatest draft in history, and it was fantastic, but it was two drafts for the price of one, in that they dropped the age for uh, being draft eligible that year. So it was basically two drafts. Uh, this one, the 2003 one, was just an excellent draft from pretty much top to bottom, and he was a big part of it. So Ryan Getzlaff in 2005 wins gold at the World Junior Championships. 2010 and 2014, he represented Canada at the Olympics, and they won gold both occasions. I uh, don't think he gets named to the Olympic team this year, but maybe that's part of the reason for his resurgence. He wants to have his name mentioned as possibly the fourth line center kind of thing, the veteran player on the team, and we'll see. Uh, going into this year, I would have told you, nah, there's no way that Getzlaff would end up on the Canadian Olympic team, but again, really good start to the season, and he's back. This is the Ryan Getzlaff that you either loved or hated, right? So, uh, he has earned... I also want to throw this out there. His When I was uh, going through everything for this video, I went through Cap Friendly. Uh, $92,657,035. So, he has uh, he's made some good money in his NHL career. Uh, he doesn't make his debut till 05 06, Plays 57 games that year for the Ducks. 14 goals, 35 assists, or 25 assists for 39 points. 16 playoff games. Three goals, four assists, seven points. He joins a very successful Anaheim team that is on the verge of something big. So the 06-07 season, this is where, of course, Anaheim picks up Chris Pronger. And so Pronger and Niedermeyer means Stanley Cup time. Uh, his first full season, 82 games, 25 goals, 33 assists, 58 points. Very seamless transition to the NHL. And he was really part of an important line in that Stanley Cup run. 21 games, 7 goals, 10 assists, 17 points, Stanley Cup ring. <clears throat> he was on the kid line with Corey Perry and Dustin Penner. A line that played, again, uh, a pretty important role in getting Anaheim to that Stanley Cup. Every line had its own role to play. Uh, that kid line was definitely part of it. Of course, the fourth line on that team was fantastic. The defense led by Pronger and Niedermeyer and then Netya Jaguar. It was a pretty darn good Anaheim team. So 7-08. 77 games, 24 goals, 58 assists, which was 7th overall in the NHL and 82 points. So the year after the Stanley Cup win, all of a sudden Getzlaff's a point-per-game player. He would stay at or near that level for quite a while. Uh, six games in the playoffs, two goals, three assists, five points. So they didn't last as long in the playoffs in 08 as they did in 07. But in 07-08, he made it to the All-Star game. So kudos to him. 2008-2009, another season where he makes the All-Star game. 81 games, 25 goals, 66 assists, which was third in the NHL. 91 points, which was sixth in the NHL. And in 13 playoff games, four goals, 14 assists, 18 points. Getzlaff has always been a guy who has a decent shot. Good offensive player, prefers to make the pass. Uh, that continues throughout his career, starting with 09-10, 66 games, 19 goals, 50 assists, 69 points. So again, he's above a point per game, missed some games that year. 2010-2011, missed some games this year too, 67 games, 19 goals, 57 assists, which was fourth overall, 76 points. In the playoffs, six games, two goals, four assists, six points. This is the season as well where he became the leader, the, the captain for the Anaheim Ducks due to the retirement of Scott Niedermeyer. So, 2011-2012, 82 games, 11 goals, 46 assists, 57 points. A down season by his standards, right? Uh, no playoff games that year, so 2012-2013, lockout shortened season. 44 games, 15 goals, 34 assists, which was 8th in the NHL. 49 points, which was 10th in the NHL. And in the playoffs, 7 games, 3 goals, 3 assists, 6 points. And this is where he starts to get heart consideration. He was 7th in heart voting that year. 2013-2014, 77 games, 31 goals, 56 assists, which was 5th in the NHL. 87 points, which was 2nd in the NHL. Because this is the year he starts putting the puck in the net himself rather than passing it off in its entirety. And yeah, great season for him. 12 games in the playoffs, 4 goals, 11 assists, 15 points. Second team All-Star, the only time he did that in his career. 
uh, second in heart voting as well. So this is a, a great season for him. And it's just as good for him as Corey Perry's fantastic season a few years before had been, right? So 14-15, 77 games, 25 goals, 45 assists, 70 points. So his points totals drop, his goals drop a little bit. The assists drop by 11. He's not top 10 in anything in the playoffs. 16 games, 2 goals, 18 assists, 20 points. He's a good player in the playoffs. Uh, sixth in heart voting, and he made it to the All-Star game that year. 2015-2016, 77 games, 13 goals, 50 assists, which is 7th for 63 points. In the playoffs, 7 games, 2 goals, 3 assists, 5 points. 2016-2017, 74 games, 15 goals, 58 assists, which was 3rd overall. 73 points, and in the playoffs, 17 games, 8 goals, 11 assists, 19 points. So, that's a good example of how, you know, during the season he had 15 goals in 74 games. With the important games in the playoffs, he had 8 goals in 17 games. He's he's more willing, if need be, to put the puck in the net if he has to. And, you know, going through and, and doing doing up this video on this board, it reminds me a lot of Henrik Sedin. Ryan Getzlaff is like if Henrik Sedin were Canadian and had some serious attitude there. Uh, he does have attitude in games. 2017-2018, he only plays 56 games, 11 goals, 50 assists, 61 points. So his points totals are still good. Four playoff games, just the two assists. And that was the last time Anaheim would show up in the playoffs until now. And whether or not Anaheim ends up back in the playoffs, we'll see. 2018-2019, we saw a drop in Getzlaff's play. 67 games, 14 goals, 34 assists, 48 points. And it felt like he was playing a little too much at that point in Anaheim. And I was definitely questioning whether or not he was going to play much longer. 2019-2020, 69 games, 13 goals, 29 assists, 42 points. Again, the points per game is dropping. And it just, again, it felt like the Ducks were overplaying him. And I, I guess they were doing that before the kids came up. 2020-2021 really looked like it was going to be his last year, right? 48 games, 5 goals, 12 assists, 17 points. And there were long stretches last season where Getzlaff didn't look like he was having a lot of fun. Uh, the Ducks couldn't generate anything offensively. And I was kind of surprised he didn't retire. And I, I think he considered it. But on July 28th, as an unrestricted free agent, he had had other options. He decides he's going back to Anaheim. Which, again, surprises me because Getzlaff, looking at how long his career is, we could have forgiven him if he decided to sign in Florida and say, I, I want a shot at the Stanley Cup, so I've signed in Tampa for league minimum. I've signed in Florida for league minimum. I don't think anybody would have got mad, even Anaheim fans, right? Because he has a chance to win. This year, so far in Anaheim, has been nothing short of remarkable. 17 games, one goal, but 17 assists, which is third in the NHL currently, 18 points. Uh, and yeah, it has been fantastic. He has been a big part of it. So while Troy Terry gets a lot of credit, and he should, Troy Terry's numbers are great, Ryan Getzlaff already has more points in 17 games than he had in 48 last year. He has five more assists than he had in 48 games last year. And not only that, the, the thing that to me was kind of a defining factor is him cheering from the bench when they scored. And it just looks like he's back to having fun. So how long this Ducks roll goes, I don't know. But uh, Getzlaff looks like he's having fun for the first time in, I'll say, three years. Where there were times last year he just looked miserable. And whether that was accurate or it wasn't, that perception definitely was out there. And so it's nice to see him winning again. And to see him playing well again. And I'll say this, I was on the fence as to whether or not he was going to be a Hall of Famer. A few years ago I was like, no, nah, probably not. Now... I'm going to change that to probably yes. Uh, right now, he is 51st all-time with 720 assists. He is 92nd all-time with 1,000 points. And again, you know, you look at the 280 goals, 720 assists, and they're similar totals to uh, Henrik Sedin's. Now, the Sedin's are seen as being probably shoe-ins next year to get to the Hall of Fame. Then I think you have to consider Getzlaff, too. So while he doesn't have the Hart Trophy, he doesn't have an Art Ross Trophy, he does have the Stanley Cup, World Junior Gold, and Olympic Gold. And with those three different championships, I, I would say that that gives him a really good shot at making it into the Hall of Fame, plus the 1,000 points. The fact that he's had this resurgence late in his career, and we don't know how long this is going to go, but it's what, the 17th year of his career? It's been a nice long career for him. So, 
you know, all the best to him. And he was a player that I wasn't fond of as recently as, say, what, four years ago? Three, four years ago? But he's he's won me over. He seems like a great guy off the ice. And it is a good story when a guy does make that resurgence happen late in his career. Because it does get more difficult. And it, it is one of those things that, you know, for this year he has defied the aging process. And I don't know how, how far he can go with this, if it goes into next year as well. He's just got the one-year contract with Anaheim. So we'll see whether or not this is just his final year or not. But he cruised to that 1,000 points. And now we'll see whether or not he continues to cruise. Does he keep scoring at a point a game? Does that drop? It probably drops. But uh, he's already proven a lot of doubters, including, your, including yours truly, wrong. So uh, good on him for doing that. And if the Ducks make the playoffs this year... I think Getzlaff would be a really good part of that story because it was doubtful that we were going to see the Ducks and Getzlaff in the playoffs again. Maybe we do. So there you go. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below regarding the career of Ryan Getzlaff. And does he go into the Hall of Fame when he retires? Again, I've gone from, nah, probably not, to, yeah, yeah, he should, probably should. And something there's something to be said for the guy that, that does have better seasons. Uh, late in his career when he could be completely forgiven for either packing it in and saying I'm done or not necessarily playing all that well so kudos to him let me know your thoughts don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you're browsing your way through you just happened upon this video thank you guys so much for watching for all your support I will talk to you again soon